seizing opportunities. Uh, we need to all work together. And so it's the concept of the big we. And who is that we that I'm talking about? Well, a lot of times uh, we pretty well got it down that it's the government, it's the public sector. We know the public sector has to work with the private sector. And we also have to think about academia and the civil society is, a, is another group that sometimes is forgotten in this. And so even within government, we've got the three layers, municipal, we've got federal, we've got provincial. We, ha we have to work together in order to get that local food system. Same thing is these other areas not working in their silos, but we have to cuddle up those silos together. So, and what this is going to, I guess, in two other areas, these are often the ones that in, in cases where we've seen some success, uh, people are, have moved together and they've created a, a consortia or uh, you know, an alliance between these people and they've moved forward on, on, on local food. The other idea is that we have to start thinking as a system and it's that interdependency, it's the complexity of a system and that's why we have to collaborate, that's why we have to integrate, that's why we have to coordinate our resources because we can't operate as a system if we're operating within our our little mandate and our little role. So we have to have those conversations and I think that's critical to moving forward in um, a local food system and for everyone to capture the opportunities uh, that exist there. Um, now from a government standpoint, because that's where I'm at, what something that, that we need to do um, is this idea of me, it's all about me, right? We all know that. So uh, the me, the M of the me is about a mandate. Uh, we basically have in the government we have three things to do under policy, okay? So uh, we can mandate, we can enable, and the last thing is we can encourage. But you know those three things under policy, all of us can do that, can be thinking about how do we, um, well the government does more of the mandating I guess, but how can we encourage, how do we enable um, a local food system and I just want to give you four, sort of four main examples of what can, we can all aim at together to work on this. And if we look at, part of it is appreciating and valuing and recognizing uh, and celebrating our local food providers. And once that's done, that's a huge way to enable and to, um, to encourage that more and more people become aware of the fact that there is a local food system. What are the benefits of why we need to support that? And so there's a number of different you know, programs and services that we can do in order to appreciate our farmer. And um, we're seeing that in local food dinners out there. and We're seeing that in um, uh, awards being given for people doing things uh, interesting and new and innovative approaches to local food. The I is about inspiring and we can inspire by, especially ourselves, the government can be doing research, uh, smart practice, e-scanning work, what's going on elsewhere and bring those success stories back. But again, all of us up here, we can all be doing that, looking for those success stories elsewhere and then sharing that knowledge, getting that knowledge out and inspiring our producers and our processors and our uh, budding entrepreneurs um, to go down this path. And an M, one of the first M's, would be about mapping. We have to, uh, humans are just wi wired to visualize things and if we can map our assets that are out there ex already, it, where are our farms in local, where are our producers, where are the kitchens, where are the warehouses, where are the distribution route maps, we need to look at this um, from a land use perspective. And so that, that's another huge component of what we need to do. So the last M is about mentorships. And it kind of ties in with this idea of inspiration and looking at smart practices, being aware of what's worked elsewhere. But it's also about, and again, it goes back to all of us can play a role in this mentorship and actually bringing in um, people uh, on a one-to-one -one basis or one-to-a-group basis really operates in a lot of different ways. But the idea of that sharing of knowledge of someone's had success, and it can happen in a, in, like I said, from business to business, it can happen at a community, um, all sorts of different levels. So those are the four areas that I think um, we, the big we, need to work on 
uh, in order to seize those opportunities. I guess one parting concept to this, this overview of the local food system and, and the economics of it, um, are we looking at, this is really the provocative question, I guess, are we looking at economics of profit and are we looking at economics of health? Are we looking at the economics of happiness? And um, do we need to look at all three of those? Sometimes we're simply guided by economics of profit. And the other thing we need to look at, I think, is question ourselves, um, is this whole idea of, remember we looked at the social, the environmental, and the economic, and the nutritional. And I think we have to look at each of those areas and say, um, are we being profitable and productive environmentally? Are we being profitable and productive nutritionally? Are we being profitable and productive economically together? And are we being profitable and productive socially? Not just one of those apart, but integrate all four. Something to think about.